Hi, I'm Claire, and welcome to British Rowing's Gero Indoor Workout Class number four. Okay, we're going to set up the machines. You need to make sure your foot plate is in the right place so that when you put your foot in, the strap is across the balls of your feet. I want you to make sure your damper lever is on four or below and that the monitor is up at your eye level so that it encourages you to sit up tall. Once you're ready, you can place your feet in. Make sure they're in securely. Take hold of the handle and we're going to start with a four minute warm up. Nice steady rating of 20. Let's go. A warm up's just a chance to get the whole body moving. Refine the technique. Get nice and warm ready for the session. We're going to focus on sitting up tall. Technique sequence. Legs, body, arms on the drive. So the legs start, the body leans back, and the arms pull through. And the recovery on the way back up is the exact opposite. Arms first, then the body, and then the legs. Nice and smooth, really relax into it. Keeping the upper body nice and relaxed. And driving on the legs. As this is a warm up, I'm going to take the rating up just a little bit and take it up to 22 in five seconds. Now we go up. Just add a little squeeze in the legs. Try and keep the recovery relaxed and controlled. Just moving a bit quicker on the drive. That's it, looking good. And now we take it up to 24. Now we need a bit more of a squeeze on the legs, starting to find some power, keeping it fluid. Good. Excellent work. Slow it back down, back to rating 20. Moving through the motions. That got the heart rate up a little bit. Gets the blood pumping. Good work. Still sitting tall. Trying to get a long stroke, but don't overreach. Making sure the legs pick up the weight and drive it through. Just going to be here a little bit longer, maximizing the warm up time. One more stroke and relax there for a second. Okay, warm. Right, we're going into the circuit. It starts off with two minutes light rowing. 40 reps of an exercise, then it drops to one and a half minutes, 30 reps, one minute, and then 30 seconds. Start off steady and we'll talk through it as we go. 
Let's go. Steady rowing, long strokes. You can put a little squeeze on the legs, but keep the recovery controlled. Really focusing legs, body, arms, arms, body, legs. Just feeling nice and relaxed, breathing on the recovery, doing what it says, and recovering each stroke for the next one. Looking good. Keep the control. Smooth movements, steady rhythm. Nice drive, just loading the legs up each time. there. One more. And put your handles down. Exercise number one is a twist. You need to take your feet out, but leave them on the foot plate. Knees are soft. Belly button comes into spine, so you engage your core, and then you just lean back until you feel like it's locked in. At which point, the hands are just going to come from one side to the other. We've got 40 in total. That's 20 each way. When we're ready, off we go. Nice and steady. Feeling the twist around the navel so your hips stay still, but your shoulders twist. If you want more of a challenge, you can lean back a bit further. If it's too much, just sit up a bit taller and keep the twist. That is halfway. Feeling strong, working those obliques. Last 10. Trying to get a comfortable twist. Still focusing on a nice straight back, core engaged. Three, two, and one. Well done, feet go back in. One and a half minutes, 90 seconds of rowing. Still fairly light, just a little squeeze in the legs. Off we go. to maintain consistency in the drive. Focus on both legs working, loading both feet, pushing through nice and evenly. Good work. There's just a little squeeze when you drive. It's not so light that you don't feel like you're getting a workout, but it's light enough to maintain for the duration.
One stroke. And put the handles down. Next exercise is lunges. So we'll stand up next to the machine. And we're just going to, with alternate legs, step out and drop down 90 degrees in both knees. Okay, 30 repetitions, 15 each side. Let's go. Good. Feeling the weight transfer to the front leg. That's the one that's working to drive you back to standing and to control you on the way down. If it's a bit much, you don't have to go so low, but make sure the weight is dropping down once you've stepped out so your knee doesn't push over the front of your toes. Well done, hop back on the machine. One minute of rowing. Because we dropped the time down, we're gonna take the power up a little bit. Start to work for it. Okay, let's go. Still making sure it's a smooth recovery. Breathing each time. But now we're working on the legs. Good stuff. Making sure your whole body drives away as one and then the body opens back. One last stroke. Relax it there. Exercise three, press ups. You're gonna come down next to your machine. You've got three options. You can be in a box, just bringing the head above the line of the hands. Take it out a bit longer, into three quarter, or onto your toes for a full. We've only got 20, she says. Okay. Let's go. So hands are in line with the shoulders. Head comes above the line of the hands. Makes a bit of a triangle. Opening up, hands nice and wide. If you need to drop to your knees, you may do so. And you can always come back up onto your toes to finish off. Pulling the belly button to the spine, nice and strong. Five left. Last two, drive it up, and we're done. Well done. Last 30 seconds of rowing is the fast 30 seconds of rowing. Finishing it off with a burst and then one final exercise. Good to go? Let's do it. Strong. Nice. Working through to the finish. One more push, and relax it there. Well done. 
10 reps, squat thrusts. The choices are on your hands, feet jumping in and out, or if you want the challenge, feet on the seat, hands on the floor, body out long, in and out. It's up to you. I'm going on the floor. 10 reps and 10 reps only. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. And 10. Whew, well done. No more circuit. One minute of work to finish. All I need instead of an interval is just one minute of sprints. We just push, maybe not a sprint. One minute of hard work. Steady rating, drive it through, feel strong. Are we good? Let's go. One minute is all there is left. Hearing that drive. Long strokes, strong legs. Well done, settle into the rhythm. Pushing through. We're nearly there. Sitting tall. 10 seconds left. One more. And relax. Well done. Have a moment. Then we're just gonna go into a nice little cool down. Easy rowing. We'll pick up the handles and just take it nice and steady to start. Just moving through those motions. Loosening up everything that you've used today. Really thinking about the technique, making sure you bed it in for next time. Done well today. That was hard. One more, and you can relax it down there completely. Just gonna run through a few little stretches so you can stand off your machine. I'm gonna start with a quad stretch. If you want to hold on, you can. Otherwise, just balance. One foot up behind. Keep the knees in line, hips level. Feel the stretch down the front of the leg. All right? Good. Excellent, let's swap that over. Time to breathe. Excellent. Hamstring stretch, so one foot out in front and just lean back, feel the stretch down the back of the straight leg. Just push the hips back a bit further if you don't feel it deep enough. And swap that one over.
Excellent. Last stretch for your glutes. One ankle on the opposite knee and just sink down into the hip stretch. You should feel it in the outside of the bent leg. And if you need to, you can push the knee down a bit further to open the hip out. And we'll swap that over. And that is you done. Good work, guys. Thanks.